Good morning guys. I'm currently in Kona on the big island of Hawaii and I've been here for the past few days with two of my best friends. We have been getting our level one free diving certification and as of yesterday, we are certified. So now for the rest of the trip, we can just focus on having fun and exploring this beautiful island. So this morning, I'm actually rushing a bit. The other girls are packing their stuff and are getting the car ready, but I just wanted to show you you really quick what I'm bringing on my snorkel excursion. Got my weight belt with the three pound weight currently on there, my free diving mask and snorkel, fin socks for my fins. These are my fins. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. My fiance got these for me for Christmas and I got to use them for the first time on this trip and they're perfect. They're whale shark print and I'm very excited about them. Also packing a water bottle. Super important to stay hydrated when you're out in the sun on a boat all morning. Got a microfiber towel, reef safe sunscreen, and of course a camera. And this morning I actually have two action cameras. This is the GoPro Hero 11 and this is a DJI Osmo Action 3. This is a brand new setup for me. I have never used any of the DJI Osmo Action cameras before. I've pretty much just used GoPro for the past 10 or 11 years. So this is a system I'm very, very familiar with, but I did get my hands on this one recently and there's actually quite a few differences. I'm really excited to explore and see how they stack up against each other. I always want to know the latest technology and how that can help my workflow. So today I'm bringing both of these cameras to see which one I prefer when it comes to snorkeling content. Both of the settings on this camera are going to be the same. I will be shooting in 4K 120 frames per second at a 16 by nine ratio for YouTube. So let's see how it adds up. I mean, they look pretty darn similar, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's go, you guys. Live a little, flip the page, give us some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. I thought I was what I told I thought I was. I thought I was what I been told. I thought I was I was picking up the pieces Of yesteryear's life And over my head Trying to figure out I was going through changes Where to begin When a mountain moving revelation came Marching in I thought I was What I been told I thought I was Thought I was what I've been told I thought I was Been a long time, baby Been a long time, oh Stick with me, maybe Don't let me go Hey guys, it is the next day Yesterday was so much fun. I loved every moment of just boating around the coast, getting to see the island from a different perspective. And we jumped into snorkel at three different spots, saw turtles, saw so many fish, and it was just gorgeous. Some things that I noticed from using these cameras in that situation, the DJI Action 3 actually has a touchscreen front screen, which allows you to change the menu settings from the front. Even though the GoPro Hero 11 does have a front screen as well, this one is not touch screen. This one is solely to see yourself in a live preview. The second thing to note is battery life. Battery life is something that I have struggled with the GoPro. And I hate to say it because I absolutely love this system, but their battery life is not the best. They do have a new Enduro battery, which 
does help the problem a bit, but when you are shooting in 4K 120 frames per second, it just eats away at the battery so quickly. So another thing to know about this system is that the DJI Adventure Combo comes with this really sleek three battery charging case. It charges all three batteries at the same time with a fast charge. So sleek and tiny and super lightweight. Unfortunately, the Hero 11 system does not have anything like that and I believe it takes about 100 to 120 minutes to fully charge one battery at a time. In terms of battery life and system, the DJI Action system definitely wins. Another thing that I wanna mention is the mounting system. And when I'm shooting content, I'm specifically shooting horizontal content for YouTube, but also vertical content for Reels and TikTok. DJI actually has this really cool magnetic mounting system. And uh, at first I was a little bit skeptical because I was thinking magnets probably are not the best bet for underwater surfing activities. But actually that is not the case because even though it is magnetic, it has an additional safety lock. And in order to remove the magnet, you have to squeeze both of those buttons at the same time for it to release. So as you see, it just snaps on like so, take it off and then mount it horizontally. So this morning, Caitlin, Summer and I are going to be checking out something that has been on my bucket list for ages. And that is a helicopter ride. And I thought what better place to do it than on the big island of Hawaii. There is so much to see. The landscape is incredibly diverse and beautiful. I think we're gonna see waterfalls, valleys, forests, the ocean, and fingers crossed, lava for this adventure because i want to take you guys along with me i will be bringing both cameras to show you guys the different footage I'm gonna pack up my stuff and let's go ride a helicopter guys <laughs> this was summer and my first time on a helicopter so we were kind of freaking out but in a good way of course Upon departing from Kona Airport, we were off to explore the seven windward valleys of Kohala Waterfalls. But first, we flew over the windward side of the Kohala Mountains, along the coastline of Waipio Valley, and then cross over to Waimanu Valley. Waimanu can experience annual rainfall of up to 200 inches, creating 1,500 foot waterfalls, which are some of the tallest in all of Hawaii. The dramatic coastline of the Green Mountains reaching the ocean with waterfalls flowing down onto the beaches were stunning and we flew over sparkling blue ocean waters, ancient lava flow pathways, green forests and ranch land, and of course the luxury resorts and golf courses on the island's leeward shore. We are back from our helicopter ride. My hair is crazy. The knots here, insane. And I just woke up from a nap, so I'm feeling super exhausted. The other girls are over here. We're tired. I took a one hour nap, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, really enjoyed it. First time. It was so cool. It was really stunning to get to see all of the views that you normally wouldn't be able to see. So yeah, 10 out of 10 experience and Summer and I were just in the back seat, just getting wrecked by the wind. <laughs> it was hilarious. That is for sure. Our hair was wild. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, yeah, we're super exhausted, but since it's our last day, we're thinking we might try to go and surf because that's what we do. That's where we thrive. So gonna get ready and uh, rally, get some energy. Rally. We're gonna rally. And then we are gonna try to see if we can get some waves find a board and get out there. This was my first time trying the DJI Osmo Action 3 while surfing using their floaty pole. Although the quality of the footage is great, it was actually pretty difficult to surf with the pole since I'm used to biting the GoPro's soft floaty pole when paddling onto waves. And since the DJI's version is hard, I wasn't able to bite it while paddling and I had to basically stuff it into my suit and try to do it that way. 
However, this would be a really easy fix for DJI to implement in future versions of this accessory. But aside from that, we managed to get a few fun party waves together and it was just really nice to be in the water and see all of the tropical fish swimming around the reefs below us. So that is a wrap on our Hawaii adventures. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!